Hey guys, this is pretty much like take three on this video. I think the reason I keep stopping and then <laughs> subsequently restarting is because I have nothing to talk about. Um, <clears throat> the most interesting thing I have to talk about tonight is um, I'm going to give you the name of an app for uh, those of you who have Google Chromebooks. It's called InRec, as for in record native video recorder it's a, an app available in chrome and it kind of lets you record videos much like i'm doing now with a chromebook webcam uh, my chromebook did not come with a um an app that you could just straight record a, a webcam video with so here's to you native video recorder Tonight I've got a, uh, the featured selection for tonight is a little bit of bald headed, bald headed teacher. That'll be from March of 2013. And I'm, uh, smoking it in this, um, Canadian I've got. It's kind of a beater Canadian, but whatever. Don't you hate that? Come on. These matches have about had it. The match is the uh, preferred method of lighting pipe, in my opinion. Second most important thing is a uh, decent tamp. You got to tamp those pipes, people. So yeah, I really haven't had a whole lot to talk about tonight. I, I, I don't want to talk about fishing stuff again because I haven't used any of the things that I've spent money on. So that doesn't make any sense. And I don't really have any projects. As a matter of fact, I chose the resolution 800 by 600 because I didn't want to show you all the mess that I've got going on over here. It's just, uh, I've got to get my shop built. I just can't get a damn contractor out of here to quote it. The, uh, it's amazing to me the number of people that I have requested come out here and take my money. I mean, please take my money. Build me a shop. I'll pay you. I bet I've got five people that have not shown up to, uh, to quote this job. So, eh, woe is me, right? This is the time of the year when it's, I think, a little more difficult to get contractors in because they're finishing up their year's work. I don't know that that's always the case. Uh, I do know that some folks have said, if you're still looking in January, give me a call because they're, you know, they're going to take time off to be with their families at Christmas and they're going to, you know, they're, they're probably going to want to schedule work that way. And that may be what I wind up doing. I, I, time is on my side. I'm, I'm not I'm not worried about a deadline. I just really like to get all this crap out of here, you know. Uh, I could potentially park in that bay over there, <laughs> park a car in there. How about that? But, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, um, I, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to allow myself to get wrapped around the axle about it. It's, uh, just not worth it. So I have staved off any panic buying for, uh, the great tobacco panic of 20, 2016, I read all these articles and, you know, about the European tobacco situation, particularly in the UK, particularly with our friend Glenn Quelch. I think his name's Quelch, GQ Tobacco. Um, I always loved watching his videos. They were really in depth. And now his, his shop has basically been put out of business by all the UK uh, government tobacco regulations and restrictions. So if you don't think it's coming in America, get ready. So, you know, I've been trying to build my cellar for probably, I don't want to say 10 years. It's probably been about 10 years. Yeah, I've been slowly but surely amassing tobacco, which I don't smoke a lot. I don't, I don't smoke a lot. I don't smoke a lot. I, um, I just do this for enjoyment. So, you know, I don't do this every night. I don't do this every week. So... If I were to buy a pound of tobacco, I'm not going to smoke a pound in a year for sure. So if I do that for X number of years, well, I should have 
you know, X number of pounds, you know, less a few, you know. So that's uh, kind of how my fuzzy math works. Um, I mean, I don't have any idea how much ball-headed teacher I've got, but I know this came from 2013. Uh, maybe I've got 10 more of these. I don't know. Maybe I've got two. I don't know. Um, I've got a jar right here. What in the heck is this? Oh, trout string. Never, never disappoints. The uh, the aroma of trout stream is um, fantastic. I, I spy another jar. I'll be right back. Butera, Butera dark stoved. It's got dust on it. vinegar I like that so you know there's a couple of uh, there's at least one McClellan flake like this which this may very well be made by McClellan and I I don't like this it's a little and I don't know how they do it if it's stoving or what but it comes in a little flake like that right there It's just a black flake and it has the look and texture of a ground up car tire. Now, some of you guys, you know, it, and it burns like it for me. Some of you guys may feel differently, but I can't get this stuff. I can't rub it out fine enough or, or whatever. I just can't get it hot enough to burn. It, it, it is literally like smoking an old car tire. I was probably getting rid of this. That's probably why this was out here. I was probably going to mail this out. In a world of infinite time and resources, I, I, I'm able to do all my little side projects. In this world, no. I just forget about them. These Becks are absolutely delicious. I prefer the Becks Dark. They didn't have it. If you are... Um, not sure whether or not you like a dark beer and would like to try one. I suggest starting out with Beck's Dark. They're very malty. It is not a bitter, uh, not a bitter beer at all. Almost sweet. So um, the only other exciting thing I've got is uh, I'm jumping to. Um, Project Five. If you don't know what that is, I, I don't really, uh, I don't really know how to explain it other than Google's now providing a is now a cell phone provider. I'm turning in the old uh, Samsung S5. I've really loved this phone. <laughs> I've had it for two years. It's um, more than more than two years, but it's. Uh, I think I've had it for two years. Maybe just hell. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going with Project Fi. It is a uh, more budget-friendly cell phone provider. And um, I, what I'm hoping to get is actually just a clean version of Android on my phone instead of all like the carrier bloatware. And, you know, I know there's guys out there that say, well, just root and, root and, uh, and uh, flash your phone, you know. But that's not always easy to do. In the case of the S5, uh, for Verizon, you really had a lot of trouble. I think you could root it pretty easily, but I don't, I don't think flash and ROMs was that easy. For whatever reason, they lock these bootloaders and they're just making a pain. And, and I, I don't understand why I'm sure they've got their reasons, but when you've got a locked bootloader, it's so difficult to, uh, flash ROMs. So, um, I'm, I'm sort of opting for Project Fi, hoping that I'll, I'll get that clean. Uh, as Google intended it, Android experience. So I think that's all I have going on. I'm going to enjoy this pipe. The uh, Monday night football game does not have my interest in any way. 
you talk and your pipe goes out. That's what happens, right? Do you guys uh, know about the white lighter suspicion or uh, superstition? No, suspicion, superstition. The um, the white Bic lighter is supposed to be kind of cursed. Um, it's one of these deals where I think J Jimi Hendrix maybe and Janis Joplin both, they had a white lighter with them when they, when they died, a white Bic lighter. Now, I don't know if there's any truth to that, but I will tell you that superstition is uh, is the religion of fools. So uh, needless to say, I don't carry this with me. I just leave it at home. Well, guys, <clears throat> y'all have a good Monday. We'll talk to you.